I just installed the rear bagger system onto the Cub Cadet CC30H mower and I wanted to show you the pieces as we get ready to go into mowing here. And the key here is to get this bolt back on top after you put the covering on. And then the same with the rear, same bolt down here and behind it, and underneath this little connection here is a switch by that plate and you can see the white knob of it right there on the left that has to be pressed in or the mower won't start when you get it going again. On the back of it, I had a little trouble getting this tube right here to fit into the hole and so they recommended that you put it on backwards, backwards, stick it in and then twist it inside the hole and then bring it down and it fasten it down to the bottom down here. So I did that and then it worked fine. This is the part I'm talking about where you just have to just flip it around and then stick it in. There's a little nylon covering back in here that will uh, allow you to easily do that. This is the back of it with the hood up, hood piece up right here. I'm gonna lower this down and that'll snap into place right here. And then the baskets will go into, into it underneath it. If I pull back on that and bring it up, it'll go up like this. So it's gonna add a little extra depth to it. I'm still trying to decide if I want to leave it on uh, just for doing the leaves, take it off so I have more room in the garage, put it when I'm done, or to take it off when I'm done because actually all of this will just come come on done with this one bolt right here. This slides, after you leave, you leave this piece on permanently, this will slide into it right here. It just drops onto this bowl, take it off, turn it upside down to take this plate off, this piece off here, or you can leave it on if you want. It could also just discharge out the back. You get pretty messy, I'm sure. Now then, once you have that done, we just drop these baskets in here. They kind of collapse. They don't take up much room at all. And open them up. And then drop it right in here. It just slides back in. Whoops. Just slides back in there. And just slips on the back side. And it's in place. Same with the other one. Pick it up. Drop it back here. Put it into the back. Drop it into place, and then, so the grass will blow into both of those, or the leaves will blow into both of those. Bring this down, push down to snap it in, and it's snapped in by that hook right there. So that's it. When it's all put together, doesn't look too bad. Just a little bigger than before. I'll have to make sure I remember that because I'm backing up and don't get into things. Okay. We don't really have the biggest yard in the world, but um, as the trees get bigger, that's why I needed a bagger. I don't really want to mulch and uh, get all the grass. I just want the leaves. But we do have a lot of things to mow around. There's 34 objects in the yard, and the mower will barely get between these two bricks and that uh, mailbox post. So what I'm gonna do first is take the blower, and come out and blow these away from the blocks so it'll be easier for the mower to get to. As you can see with the rest of the yard, it's a similar story. There's a lot of blocks, there's a lot of bushes, there's a lot of things to go around. So I'll just blow it away from here first and then uh, make it easier for the mower to pick it up and go around without having to do a lot of backing up going forward in reverse. All the leaves aren't down yet, so I think we'll be out here again next week picking up more of these as we go.
I think I got a little zealous and forgot to stop and check how many leaves I got. So it filled all the way up. It'll do a little better, I think, when I did empty the bags out. Well, I will say this. It's a lot nicer than raking the leaves. It's a, it's a no-brainer, actually. <laughs> I'd buy it again. I keep getting questions about how do you back up and reverse? Well, it's really quite simple. You just have to learn a new habit. You start the engine, start it all the way up, turn the key back halfway, click on the little uh, yellow button. That'll turn the red light on. Now you can go backwards, leave the key where it is, go backwards with the blades on, and it won't stall on you. So we're going to start it up. Okay, we're all done with the yard, and uh, first time with using it, I think it came out pretty good. I think blowing the leaves off the bricks there uh, was a big help in the very beginning. Well, I think it did a pretty decent job. I'm going to have to do it again here in a few more days when these leaves come down. So that'll be round one. Round two is looking pretty good. My daughter is looking forward to the um, bags of mulch and uh, put on her garden for the winter and I think she'll be a happy camper. Yeah, I think that blowing was really good first. Now I still need to come back and trim. I have a trimmer. I didn't get rid of my trimmer once I got rid of the mower. I'm uh, still going to have to do some trimming, but since I'm going to mow in about three more days, when these come down, when it gets 25 degrees, then uh, I'll do the trimming after that. Anyhow, being retired, it's what my wife got me for retirement. And I think it's going to work out just fine. The trees will get bigger, I'll get older, and it'll get easier and easier over time. Thanks for watching. Well, not all the leaves came down off the trees, but I'm glad we got up what we did when we did, because um, there's going to be one more round to go after this and otherwise they would be buried under the ground and get wet and be kind of hard to get up afterwards. Okay, well, I'm glad you watched this. We had fun. Thanks.